guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe today's video I'm going to be doing a New York Fashion Week haul I haven't done a haul on my channel in the longest time I don't even know when the last time I've done a haul was but I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up for New York Fashion Week if you guys don't know I'm going to New York Fashion Week in February of 2019 so it's right around the corner and we went shopping to get some holiday sales and I just want to show you guys what I picked up. If I can, I will link everything down below. So if you want to shop this video, you can certainly do that. Oh, if you guys want to see all of these outfits on, I will be inserting some pictures if I have worn the outfits. If not, follow me on Instagram. I'll be taking plenty of pictures in the outfits and I would love it if you guys follow me on there. I think that's it for this intro. So let's go ahead and get on into this haul. So the first thing I got was from Forever 21 and it is this cute body dress. I call it a body dress because it's very tight fitted. Um, as you guys can see, it goes pretty low and it's long sleeves and it has a high neck and I just feel really confident when I wear this and I know that sounds weird, but I guess I'll just get the shoes out of the way, but I got these cute high boots from DSW. I think they were on sale actually and I've always wanted a pair like this. If you guys don't know, which you guys should check out Alexa Page. She's growing like crazy. Her content is amazing. She reminds me of myself. So if you haven't already, make sure to check her out because I've been slacking on her videos. I've been really, really busy. So make sure to go over there and say that Alex sent you. But she really inspired me because she had these high boots, kind of like these. And I was like, I really want one of those with this kind of dress because I watched her outfit video and I was just like, yes, girl. So I got some for myself. The next store we went to was H&M. The first thing I picked up was this pair of leggings and they are really long leggings. So they come down to your ankle. I have leggings that come to like your calf from a Victoria's Secret pink but I really wanted some that just like went all the way down. Everyone has these and I feel like they're a closet necessity. I didn't have any until now and they are so comfy. I love these things so much and they were only like $12 at H&M. The next thing I picked up from H&M was this turtleneck. It is a black basic turtleneck. Um, it's very loosey. It's the type of material I really like. The neck does not choke you, so that's amazing. The next piece I picked up was this really cute cheetah print dress, and it does look like it goes a little low, but there is a button so it does close up. Um, so it kind of goes like that. Not so high, but um, I also got the turtleneck to wear under this so I don't have to worry about that. It'll just be the black turtleneck with this. So here is the little black slip. This is just really comfortable and I really like it. And apparently cheetah print is all the rage. Does anyone remember the Cheetah Girls? I loved that movie. The next thing I picked up from H&M is probably one of my favorite pieces. It is this giant chunky sweater and the neck is so big it kind of like goes like this and then the arms are pretty long it's a pretty long sweater but i was thinking i could wear my leggings or i could wear tights or jeans under this and it would just look really nice for christmas probably end up wearing jeans i had this look i was going for at my early christmas and it actually played out pretty well but i don't think i would ever wear that again um, because this is kind of short and the last thing i got from h m is this cute jacket it is tan and it's kind of like a suede material and it has fur on the inside it is so soft i can't even i love the detail buckle here and when it's really really cold out when i go to new york or missouri i could just button this up i don't know how that would look but I should try it one time, but I really like the collar and how it just contrasts really well. Even in the arms, there's fur. So obviously it's fake fur, but I really like this. It is a nice heavy coat that will be suitable for all types of cold weather. Maybe not all types. The last store where I did the most damage was Urban Outfitters. I love Urban Outfitters clothes and they were having, I believe, a 30% off sale. So that's awesome. The first thing I picked up was pretty much an outfit. So I got these really cute olive green pants. They're really loosey and they are high-waisted. They had this little tie in the front here. I don't even know if she watches my channel, but my high school friend, Katie Minoso, she used to wear pants like this. I felt like all the 
time in high school. So when I put these on, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like Katie. I really like these and I think they go really, really well with this sweater. Um, I think that Sherry and I saw it on a mannequin and we were just like, that is a really cute outfit. Look at how good this goes together. Um, if you've been keeping up with some of my vlogs, I've worn some of these outfits and I've shown you guys, but this is a very loosey sweater and it's coming off more red on camera. I thought this was gonna be super itchy, but it's actually probably one of the softest sweaters I have. The next thing I picked up at Urban Outfitters was this really cute red sweater. And this is kind of different from my other red sweater because it's furry and fuzzy, and it's probably the softest sweater I had purchased in this haul. So if you guys are looking for comfort only and cute, it definitely be this thing. It's basically like just a fuzzy blanket. The last and final sweater I purchased was this really cute brown one. And I love this thing so much. It's a very like chunky knit sweater, but it has holes in it. And I don't know if you guys know this, but this does nothing for warmth. It's basically like an aesthetic sweater. The air goes straight through these little holes. I don't recommend this if you live in a really, really cold area, but it's really cute and I will definitely wear it here in Florida. It's just not warm whatsoever. The next item I picked up were some gloves and these are just black double layered gloves. Living in Florida, you just get the cheap Disney gloves that come basically just one layer. These are so comfy. They have like a lining in them with fake fur, obviously, and a nice sweater material. I'm very happy with this purchase. My parents love these so much that we basically got a lot more and Spencer ended up getting a pair for my mom for Christmas. So that's how much we like these Urban Outfitters gloves. And the last thing I got for my New York trip, that's a lie because I also got a sweater dress from Abercrombie, which I'll also link down below. I don't know why I forgot it is this really cute hat. I've always wanted a hat like this. I've always wanted one that with the two pom-poms, but this is also really cute, so I don't really mind. And it will pretty much go with any of my outfits. I haven't really ever owned anything like this before, so I'm really excited about it. And that, my friends, is pretty much it for my New York Fashion Week trip haul. And I am going to obviously be taking more clothing items that I already own, but I went shopping specifically for this event, and this is what I picked up. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check all the amazing links down below. Shop this video if you liked any of the pieces. Enter my giveaways, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.